my channel my name is B and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together this fake tears for real bees look super bold look but it's also super fun and I am so excited to share it with you guys it started right now Okay, so I already did my brows on camera. I used the Anastasia Brow Pomade in Blonde. So now I am going to prime my lids. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Fair Claire as usual. For the eye makeup, I wanted to pick a color that I really liked personally on my eyes that made my eyes pop. So I was thinking either pink, but then I decided to go with gold. Gold is like my staple. I wear it with everything. Like if I do a cut crease, I wear gold. I wear it all over the lid in the inner corner all the time. I'm always wearing gold. My roommate actually got me this gold shadow. This is Kiko. She got me this in Italy. Uh, this is a long lasting wet and dry eyeshadow. It's so cool. It has a super awesome design in it. Focus. Focus. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's super cool, like three dimensional. And the color payoff is super, super nice. A good mix of glitter, but also like a base. It's super cool. Oh my god, look at that. It's so pretty. I'm going to be using kind of a wider flat brush and I'm just going to be dragging it across the lids. I don't want to go too far out of the crease of my eye because we are going to be blending it out later. So I'm just going to be using the flat brush and just pulling it back and forth within the crease of my eye. See how I'm kind of just like in the natural shape of my eye? Natural shape of my eye. So now I'm just going to intensify that since I have the shape. And you can use whatever color you want because this is your makeup. You can do whatever you want. But I just gold because I like gold. Now that I have my base down, I am going to go in with a fluffier brush and I don't want so much of a defined shape. So I'm just going to take my fluffier brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shadow. You don't want too much because you don't really want to add more color. You just kind of want to blur it out a little bit. So I'm just going to lightly take my brush and drag it against the edge to blur out the color a little bit and make sure that the line is not too sharp. Because I want a lot of color, I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm really going to intensify the color on my lids. I feel like with a lot of sparkly and metallic eyeshadows, it's always best to go in with your fingers if you want a lot of color. Brushes, I don't know what it is about brushes and why they, they just sheer out the color so much. But in this case, we want to be bold. We want to be out there. We want a lot of gold on our eyeballs right now. It got a little bit messy underneath my eyes and in the corners of my eyes, so I'm just going to take a little bit of micellar water and a Q-tip and clean up a bit. I'm going to move away from the eyes for a little while and work on the base makeup. To prime, I used a super moisturizing lotion because I want my base to be super glowy. We're gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. It's in the color Soft Ivory, Classic Ivory, and 1-2 Neutral. I can never find the right foundation shade for me in any foundation. It's kind of awful. My foundations range from extremely light to extremely dark, and I don't, I don't know why. I can't just find a foundation that matches my skin. It's just something that I'm really awful at, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the coverage of this is not very strong, but I do like it. I feel like this is the kind of foundation that you would wear when you're when you have a little bit better skin days. I have not been wearing this foundation very often because my skin has been super bad. Especially in the summer, I love wearing this and the cushions 
I love them for a nice light cover. They have a super dewy finish and it just looks so nice on the skin. Especially because I have very dry skin, so I always try to look for something moisturizing. I'm always using moisturizer. I'm always using dewy products. And so I love that this foundation gives your skin a really nice glow. It's really nice. One of my favorite drugstore foundations. I haven't used this foundation in a hot minute and I'm so glad that I used it today because I'm going to be using it a lot more now. Moving on to concealer, we're going to be using the same one that we used to prime the eyes. Powdering the face. I have this trick. And I don't know if I've talked about this before, but this is what I do. I usually don't powder my whole face, really ever. Because I'm going to be using so many different powders on my face, like bronzer and blush. If you powder your entire face and then add on your bronzer and then add on your blush, it can make your skin look super cakey. I'm going to be taking my Cody Airspun powder in translucent and I have a big fluffy brush and I'm just lightly going to press around the center of my face. So under my eyes first, and on the nose, and the chin, and the forehead. So basically all of the places where you would apply a brightener, like your concealer, apply those right there. Next, I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to be using quite a large brush. I want more of a slimming effect rather than a chiseled effect. I want everything to be very light on the face. So we're going to load up this bigger brush, the bronzer. We're going to sweep it across the sides of the face. Now we are just going to finish off the face for blush, I'm actually going to be using this baked blush in Bora Bora by Laura Geller. A little across the nose and the chin to tie it all in. Now that we have our base done, right now I'm going to take the time to put on a little bit of lip balm. This is the Peach Slices Jelly Bounce Lip Balm. I love this. Cute. I'm going to move back to eyes. You can probably see I'm waving the stick around. I've actually been trying out this trick that I've heard some makeup artists do. So I just have this stick and I'm going to take this lighter and I'm just going to go for it. I heat this up and then shake it up a little bit. And I'm actually going to use this to curl my eyelashes. It actually doesn't get too hot. It's, it's fairly, it's warm, but it's not super hot. And I've been testing this out to see if this holds a curl longer than if you were to use an eyelash curler. It's really hard to show you. It is working, but because, and I don't know if everyone else is like this, because the ends of my eyelashes are blonde. I think it, it's working, it's working. It's doing its job. I'm just going to coat my lashes in some mascara. This is the Lash Paradise Waterproof by L'Oreal. Let's move on to the fun part where we're going to be creating our tears using some lash glue um, as well as some glitter. If you are going to do this, please use makeup glitter that's made to go on your face. This is glitter that I got from an art supply shop. You should not put this on your face. You really shouldn't. I'm going to, but that doesn't mean that you should. I'm a bad influence. Just don't do it. Or if you do do it, don't say you learned it from me. I am going to have glitter everywhere. I'm going to be taking my lash glue and I'm just going to be creating little tear streams underneath my eye. This is going to be so messy. I'm gonna take my my glitter and a Q-tip and just dab it onto the glitter. 
You gotta be real dedicated to do this. Am I dedicated? Yes. I'm just going to add a little bit more. So in the inner corners, I'm going to add a little bit more glue and I'm going to use a little bit bigger pieces. <laughs> this kind of looks like a mess, but that's okay. Now that I have both of my eyes done, I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to be using the shadow that I used as highlighter. I put on some lashes and to finish off, I'm just going to be adding a little bit more lip balm. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Have a beautiful day.